Hey guys, guys, check this out. So, um, I just wanted to show you this little project that I just finished. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the reason I'm sharing is because I think maybe some people might have similar needs to me. Uh, we'll see. So, okay, this is my old sketchbook. Uh, as you can see, it was created in 2003. It took me literally a decade to fill it up. That means that I'm a bad artist, in case you're wondering. So, this has got my little logo that I sketched on the cover. Um, there's a lot of things that I really love about this sketchbook. And so when I was shopping around for a new sketchbook, I wanted to try to find as many of the features that it had, and maybe some, some other ones that it doesn't have that I wish it had. So this, uh, what I love about this one is, first of all, that it's spiral bound, which means you can flip it around, uh, you can work on any page at any angle. It's fantastic. Uh, the problem with the kind of natural bound books is that uh, they have the the little corners like you can't you can't quite get in there it's just annoying it's like kind of wasteful second feature that i really like is that it's hard bound so wherever you take it you don't have to worry about drawing on something floppy and the final thing that i really love about it is that it's kind of a, a toned paper like it's brown i don't really care that it's brown it could be gray um but what's really nice about that is that i can go in and add little highlights and they just really pop like with a colored pencil or whatever so i marked a couple pages just to give you an example of the kind of work that i'm doing so you get an idea of what i'm looking for so like here's just very sketchy stuff right so it's like here's costume design here's some variants here's the internal bone structure of this alien dude's arm so yeah really sketchy stuff uh and then I do some a little more elaborate like ink work sort of stuff where it's I mean it's just a black graphic pen or whatever um, you can see by the subject matter that uh, this was done around the time of my divorce okay and then just more basic graphic design where it's just literally black and white uh, you know here's a logo for a, for a band here's a logo for my dad's dental office um, and then I started about you can kind of tell from the strata there about five six years ago developing this style where i'm just using a uh, mechanical pencil and then this is what i was talking about where i go in with a, a little paint brush and some white paint um, white colored pencil first and then white paint just in little dots that sort of thing so um that's kind of that's kind of where i'm at now doing that kind of style um you know, more design work. Here's a map for this world that I'm working on. Uh, actually, I, I'm developing this world and my mom's helping me by writing novels that take place in this world. So cool. I love my mom. She's amazing. And this is, here's some characters from from the book. Uh, here's, a, here's a creature slash character that she developed and then I, I drew it based on her descriptions. Um, yeah, if people are interested, I could go into more detail about this novel. It's, it's a set of novels now. Uh, this is the character, the main character from the first novel called Scarred King. His name is Beaumark. And uh, this is how he sets off on his journey. This is what he looks like when he comes back. So uh, you can tell there's quite a bit of adventure in it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just this kind of fun, fantasy, crazy stuff. Um, that's... That's kind of, in a nutshell, the kind of work that I do. It's, you know, nothing groundbreaking, but it's what I enjoy doing. So when I started shopping around trying to find a new sketchbook, I could not find one that had the features that I wanted, the features that, that this one has, and then additionally, um, well, I mean, one of the main reasons that I don't like this sketchbook is while this speckled, freckled paper is, is great for this kind of fantasy, natural stuff, like when it comes to um, when it comes to stuff like this, where I'm like, I want to do this really elaborate illustration, and then I want to uh, scan that into Photoshop and you know do effects and stuff on it. Uh, this becomes a nightmare because I have to go in and like hand select all the little details, try to filter out all this. It it becomes impossible. Like I just I literally have to paint over the entire thing. So I wanted a paper that didn't have all that stuff in it so that it would be easy to take some of my you know, more detailed designs straight in, into Photoshop and have a finished piece rather than having to do a bunch of um, after work on it. So yeah, this is the new sketchbook that I just finished.
It is a beast. Check it out. So it's got brass covers. It's pretty hefty, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it has, it's obviously spiral bound. So, I mean, basically what I did after going to all these art stores and finding out that the book I have doesn't exist, someone kind of pointed me in the direction of building my own. And so I ended up going to just like an office supply place and they have the machines to like, that you pick out whatever paper you want, they sh punch the holes through it, put the spiral binding through it, and then I just built this kind of case um, out of brass plates, and I just hand drilled in all the holes so that I can have this super hard, uh, hardcore cover. This The design on here is actually, you know, I scanned that in, did some work on it in Photoshop, and then I had it printed out on just clear, um, acetate or whatever that is right and then glued that down on top of the brass and polished the brass up real nice and I don't know I think that's a really cool effect so uh, because I was able to choose my paper I got kind of a gray paper it's kind of gray it looks really white here I wish it was darker this is the darkest I could find that wasn't like they have 10% gray and 80% gray and so if you know of a good place to get like good really thick um like 20 25 percent tone gray paper uh please comment below i would i would love to find out where it is i could just un unbind this and put in whatever paper i want now that i have the cover so so okay besides having these features that i wanted um another problem that i had with this sketchbook is it's very limited carrying capacity basically i got my mechanical pencil and that's it so if i'm you know hanging out at the beach and suddenly I'm like oh I wish I could add highlights to this sorry out of luck you don't have your color pencil with you so this is how I remedied this problem I did a built-in pencil box so I got a little hinge and put it on there so now I can hold all my supplies in there it's got a little magnet on it so it's not going to dump out or anything so let me show you what I've got in here. I've got my little paintbrush. I've got my, uh, my mechanical pencil. I like shaved down this little plastic ruler, 11 inches long there. Um, got my little thing of gouache or watercolor paint. Imagine this is a white color pencil and a pencil sharpener. So all that stuff fits easily into there. So yeah, I've got this awesome little studio that I can take with me wherever I go to, uh, to church, to parties, full of people I don't know, or heck, people I do know. I mean, here's the thing. If you know me, you know that when I'm sketching, it's not because I don't care about what you're saying or I'm disrespecting you or I'm shy. It just, it focuses my mind and lets me actually listen to you because Otherwise, you're talking and I'm thinking about Descartes and mind-body problem, right? So, I mean, there's, this is a good, healthy thing. I wish the rest of society understood that. Hmm. Well, this has nothing to do with the sketchbook. Anyway, here it is. And if you have any questions about how it was built or the materials I used, post them below and I will answer. If you have any questions about why I have this really disgusting, terrible beard. Don't ask. There's a long story to it. All will be revealed soon enough. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.